Welcome back everyone to the Theta Communications video series. Today we're going to be diving into a new validator for the Theta blockchain as well as a new Medium article from the Theta Labs team. Before we proceed, let us thank our Theta stakers as well as our T-Fuel stakers over on ThetaCommunications.com. You make this content possible. As well as make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to boost Theta-related content in the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's head on over to X here, and as you can see, our new validator is Deutsche Telekom, and they are one of the first telecom providers as validators on the Theta blockchain. Very excited to be collaborating and partnering with them as Deutsche Telekom is pretty sizable within Germany. Represented here in their customer development, we can see that they have 68 million mobile customers as well as a large basket of other pieces within their basket of clientele. So really excited about this and what this is going to do to bring the rubber to the road and show what the Theta Edge Cloud is all about. How it can benefit many businesses going forward as well as how it's part of Deutsche Telekom's strategy uh, going into many different sectors considering Germany is a huge manufacturing sector and is going to need to enhance their growth going forward. And we're going to hit on that within the Medium article by the Theta Labs team. So very excited for this partnership and this them becoming a validator. This is a major milestone where uh, the incentives are in line, aligned for sure. So if we go over to the new Medium article by the Theta Labs team, I'm going to piece together uh, what I'm trying to say here, which they really mention robotics and the AI background. And in Germany, there is a lot of manufacturing, a lot of factories, very high precision components that are made out of there, things that I've purchased in previous as well, too, for other businesses. And with that being said, technology is only expanding. We talk about, especially with Joe Stevens, about how uh, cars could possibly become edge nodes. Well, all these devices are going to need to communicate with one another. So autonomous vehicles is one of those things. Consumer robots is another. Uh, the big thing, I think, with Deutsche Telekom and the collaboration with uh, Theta is industrial robots, things that are operating within the manufacturing sector that need to communicate with one another to create more efficiency and fight some of the inflationary pressures that are happening within currency. But then there's deflationary pressure with AI and progression and enhancement of uh, just uh, just smoothing out all the edges. So. Basically, robotics AI is leaving the lab and entering all the logistics hubs, warehouses, factories, and just across the board. So this is really where Theta is going to help out at the edge, as well as now they have the foot in the door with Deutsche Telekom, where the Deutsche Telekom provider can now put together a package where they're not only being the provider of possibly their broadband, but also being the provider of setting up the edge nodes around their factory. And by having this development here. Setting up the edge nodes around the factory really brings about what the team mentions with the rise of vision language models. So VLMs are the ability for instead of using sensors per se for let's say like a car, you actually utilize uh, this where it's learning through a lens or a camera to ingest data and then be able to improve from the outcome or the task that it sees. So this is really exciting going back forward because this is going to improve and grow out the robotics infrastructure going forward. And Theta and Deutsche Telekom are at the forefront. So we're starting to see a really good picture here where with Deutsche Telekom, we could see other organizations, other companies seeing what is happening in Germany and then copying it as it has done in previous decades. Uh, and maneuvering from there. So Germany is kind of becoming uh, this awesome place where innovation is occurring greatly and growing rapidly. So this is really what it's all about. This is going to bring about all these different factors that Theta has put together here. Uh, and it really gives Deutsche Telekom a great foot in the door where they'll be able to provide something to clientele that they need, 
but they haven't really been able to figure out how to actually bring it and also have the ingest that is required while also not being reliant on the cloud. If you look at the past two weeks, AWS has been a mess and then Microsoft Azure uh, also has been a mess. So the, relying on these things while you're trying to manage and operate an autonomous factory or managing a manufacturing process with AI built in just can't happen. So edge nodes integration within these business models is going to be a massive glow up for everyone. So this is where it's all about. We're very excited. The cost efficiency, data privacy and security, connectivity, real-time responsiveness. I don't think people fully grasp that the uh, needing to pull from a cloud where is very far away versus edge devices or local storage, much easier, much more simplicity. Very excited about this. This is a great progression and really showing that Theta is on the path, fighting ahead, going forward, even through the woes of the crypto space. Uh, the progressions over the years have been amazing for the Theta Labs team. They have been making great groundwork towards the future of Edge Cloud going forward. And it's why we're very proud to offer T Fuel Staking, Elite Edge Nodes, as well as Theta Staking over on ThetaCommunications.com. We see the future. Joe Stevens sees the future. If you have not heard this interview we did, please go listen to it. Uh, there's a lot of great gems in there as we go back and forth talking about the progressions of what edge nodes and edge devices mean for the future. All right, everyone. I hope you have found this video well. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And as always, I will see you on T-Fuel Island. Take care. Bye-bye.